Welcome to John Fraser Secondary School's Grade 8 Information Night. My name is Thimbal Kalkub and I'm the principal. It is my great pleasure to have this opportunity to share some important information about our regional program at John Fraser, the Advanced Placement Program. Joining me in this session will be Giselle Montero, our AP Coordinator. Here at John Fraser, we pride ourselves on academic excellence and providing all of our students with unique learning opportunities during their high school career. John Fraser Secondary School prides itself in welcoming all students and we encourage them to become part of a well-rounded community of learners. We value respect and compassion, personal growth and excellence, and diversity and inclusion. The goals of our AP program align quite nicely with the Peel District School Board's 21st century learning skills. We strive to create a learning environment to challenge highly motivated students while encouraging deep inquiry, independence, critical thinking, creativity, and collaboration. We strongly support and promote academic excellence and leadership by creating knowledgeable, reflective, and positive citizens. My name is Giselle Montero, and I am the head of special programs here at John Fraser. I am here to talk to you about what advanced placement is in general. AP is a university readiness program developed by the College Board, which was created by Ivy League institutions and educators across North America. This curriculum is usually offered in a student's grade 12 year. Typically, the AP course at the grade 12 level incorporates not only the grade 12 Ontario curriculum, but a significant amount of first year university level material. At the end of each AP course, an AP exam can be written which can provide the student with an equivalent first-year university credit depending on the post-secondary institution. The AP Regional Program at John Fraser differs in that it is a comprehensive four-year program whereby the AP curriculum is scaffolded within each grade level as opposed to all being delivered in the grade 12 year. We do this by introducing higher grade concepts early in what we refer to as AP prep courses. For example, students in grade 9 would be exposed to some grade 10 concepts, grade 10 students to grade 11 concepts, and so forth. The first two years of AP focuses on enriching student experiences in and outside of the classroom, specifically with respect to developing higher level thinking skills, problem solving, and collaboration. Teachers in the AP program engage in continuous professional development opportunities to ensure our students have access to current and relevant course materials. Students accepted in the regional AP program are high achieving and well-rounded. These students strive on challenging learning environments, they enjoy collaborating and problem solving with like-minded peers, but are also strong independent learners. While not all students in the AP program write AP exams, it is important to note that advanced placement equips students with exceptional skills to be prepared for first year university. This is supported by numerous studies and surveys completed by the College Board. The most important piece of information to note here is how AP has expanded and grown globally. While AP is recognized by almost all U.S. universities and has been for quite some time, AP is becoming increasingly recognized and accepted at many Canadian and other international universities as well. All that is required upon graduation is for your child to indicate through the application process that they have studied courses at the AP level. If they so desire and are accepted into a university program, they may share their AP exam results. Once accepted into the program, students are required to take five predetermined AP prep courses in their first year. These are math, English, science, geography, and French. In grade 10, the four predetermined subjects are math, science, 
history, and English. Students then have the opportunity of selecting their fifth AP prep course from three different curriculum areas. As you can see, these are French, Computer Science Principles, and Capstone. Capstone is a new program to draw on Fraser, of which you will learn more about later in this presentation. In grades 9 and 10, students are cohorted into five AP prep courses. However, in grades 11 and 12, there is a significant amount of flexibility with respect to course selection. At this point, students may choose courses based on their areas of interest, skill level, and prior success. We do require that students in the senior grades take a minimum of two AP courses to maintain their status as AP Regional Program students. You will notice that there are many options at this point and a variety of subject areas from which your child can choose. Students may choose one particular subject area or a combination, depending on where their strengths and interests lie. All AP exams are scored on a scale of 1 to 5. Any score 3 and above, assessed by College Board markers, is usually considered for a university transfer credit. Again, it is up to the student to decide whether or not they wish to write an exam and if they wish to share their scores with a post-secondary institution. I cannot emphasize enough that students do not have to write an exam if they do not want to. The most important thing to remember is what can be gained from taking AP courses and having the experience of writing an exam, an experience that replicates what one can expect in university. These are the most recently published stats from the College Board. This slide shows the global reach AP has and where Canada, and Ontario specifically, currently stand. We are very excited this year to introduce an offering in our advanced placement program called Capstone. This program builds such skills as research, analysis, writing, and presentation. It is not a content specific program. The skills developed are the medium through which content is explored. It is an excellent cross-curricular option available to our grade 10 students. I just want to take a moment to talk about an offering for all of our John Fraser students. We offer our senior students two specialist high skills majors, one in arts and culture and one in health and wellness. These specialist high skills majors, also known as schisms, help students leave with tangible skills and certificates in these fields. I am happy to say that our AP students may also apply to these even while pursuing their AP studies here at John Fraser. So let's take a moment to look at the profile of a student in the Regional AP program. Ask yourselves if any of these characteristics apply to you. Am I a high academic achiever? Do I have a strong work ethic? Am I highly motivated, involved in school life? Am I well organized, with good time management skills? Do I have strong parental support? Here we have listed a few more characteristics you might want to consider if you're thinking about applying to the Regional Advanced Placement Program. Again, it is important to understand that we at John Fraser value the learning that takes place in this program. It is not just about the marks. It is about the skills you can learn and the enriched experiences you can have as a student in the Advanced Placement Program. As you can see above, this enriched program has an annual fee. This fee allows us to provide training for our teachers, resources for our students, and experiential learning opportunities such as field trips. Please note that support is available for anyone who requires financial assistance.
There are a variety of regional programs offered throughout the Peel District School Board. We encourage you to explore the options that are available to you and make the choice that best suits your wants, needs and learning style. It is important that you take all the information you learned today to make an informed choice for high school. In this slide, labeled Next Steps, we have posted some suggestions for you to consider. In order to select qualified candidates for the AP program, the following selection process will be followed. All applicants will need to submit their Grade 7 Final Term Report Cards where learning skills and grades will be assessed. Next, their Grade 8 Progress Report will be evaluated. And finally, we will look that each applicant has completed the reflection question component of the online application. Based on all of that, those that meet the criteria will be notified via email on December 10th if they have made it to the second selection process in which we evaluate the reflection question noted above. Those that meet this final criteria will be placed in a lottery system which will subsequently place them on a list for first round offers or a wait list. Want to apply to a Regional Learning Choice Program? All Regional Learning Choice Program applications are completed through the Peel District School Board's online application portal. This can be found on the PDSB's website. Apply online anywhere between November 9th and November 23rd, but please note that nothing can be done if the application window is missed. All correspondence throughout the application process will be done via email. Let's review some important dates and times. On Monday, November 9th at 8.30 a.m., the application window opens for all regional programs, including AP. On Monday, November 23rd at 3 p.m., this window closes. On December 10th, you will be notified if your application has made it to the next stage for the AP program. On February 1st, round one offers are emailed out at approximately 3 p.m. On February 9th, round two offers are sent out via email at approximately 3 p.m. On February 17th, waitlist offers are emailed out at approximately 3 p.m. And on June 29th, our waitlist closes and no other offers can be sent out after this time. Please note, once a regional program offer is accepted, no other offers can be considered. This means that if you accept a regional program offer and then choose to decline it later, you cannot be accepted or considered for another regional program. So please choose carefully. The Peel District School Board does not provide transportation for students in regional programs. It is the responsibility of parents to ensure that students can get to and from school each day. We hope you found this presentation helpful. For more information about John Fraser Secondary School and the Advanced Placement Program, please visit our website at www.jfss.ca. For more extensive information about what AP is and what the advantages are globally, please visit the College Board website at www.collegeboard.org. Thank you.